ओके गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन आई एम दिलीप आई लू प्रेजेंटिंग माय पेपर ऑन व्हाट शुड यू कैश अ ग्लोबल एनालिसिस ऑन वीडियो यूट्यूब रिलेटेड वीडियो कैशिंग दिस वर्क वॉज डन विथ कॉलाब्रेशन विथ माइकल एंड कास्टम सो द आउटलाइन फॉर माई टॉक विल बी आई विल गिव ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑन यूट्यूब एंड इट्स कैशिंग then the motivation for this for our work on in this paper the objective of this paper experimental setup we have used for uh, to, uh, uh, to ask answer the questions of the objective and then present, I'll present the results uh, impact of the results and the conclusion so youtube uh, is the most popular uh, internet video service as uh, everyone will be using daily um, people spend billions of hours of uh, on youtube uh, watching videos uh, month and it consists of 800 million unique users and to serve these uh, huge requests and high bandwidth uh, uh, google uses uh, globally distributed levels of caches uh, around the world to reduce the latency of requests and uh, uh, delivering content uh, using these caches by google is uh, very tough and effective caching is tough because uh, youtube has a drip like distribution where certain videos are very highly popular and uh, a huge number of videos are very low and it it can constitute a long tail uh, so which is which makes it difficult to uh, have effective effective caching uh, scheme for youtube whereas uh, it's not as same uh, for netflix or hulu which which contains uh, less content where hundreds of thou- uh, thousands of videos or hundreds of thousands of videos compared to billions of videos youtube so and also netflix and hulu are professionally pro- produced uh, uh, content where netflix and hulu know when they will produce new content into the in their website uh, whereas youtube is user generated uh, and it cannot predict what your users will be watching so the motivation for this work come from fact uh, that we presented a paper in uh, mcs 2011 uh, where we uh, show the effectiveness of caching and prefetching of uh, youtube related videos and uh, the related videos if probably everyone knows but uh, in this figure the related videos will be on the right side corner of your uh, youtube web watch page and uh, now it contains about uh, 20 related videos so in the first and there is a load more option which produces 20 more and uh, from our traces and our analysis we have seen that uh, people usually spend uh, or select uh, videos from the top 10 uh, uh, related list uh, provided by youtube compared uh, to the 20 related list offer so and caching and prefetching of this related videos have shown to be effective uh, in reducing the uh, server load and also improving the streaming quality by reducing the latency of user request so and also we recently uh, which i'll be talking on friday in mmsis uh, 2013 so we have uh, shown the related list reordering approach which also improves the caching uh, where we have a cache which stores uh, the previously requested videos and for every for each next request uh, we just reorder the list based on content which we already have in the cache uh, so that pushing the uh, content from the bottom uh, if if it is in the bottom to the top so that uh, uh, user usually select from the top of the letter list so take effect uh, to improve the caching hit rate and we have shown that uh, caching hit rate increases by 2 to 5 times by this reordering approach uh, and i'll talk more about this uh, in mmsys but this result is important because uh, we have shown uh, uh, in we have used this result in the nostra paper unfortunate that nostra came before him so an objective of this work is uh, to find out if the related vi- video list offered by youtube uh, change based on the region of request or on the time of the request uh, and uh, if it changes on a daily basis if it changes per client and uh, if re- retail video list changes uh, how much of the retail video list changes uh, either it re- changes in the top of the uh, related list or from the bottom of the related list and uh, what are the impact of the retail list ca- changes video list changes on uh, caching and prefetching uh, technique which you have produ- which you have uh, uh, shown to be effective so to answer this questions uh, we have used uh, done a global analysis on your related list uh, uh, caching or related <coughs> list differences and uh, we have used planet lab uh, uh, distributed uh, test bed to measure the uh, to p- perform this global analysis and uh, we have divided the we have taken all the active nodes on planet lab at that point of m- time and divided it based on the regions uh, global regions to four different regions uh, us europe uh, asia and south america 
and uh, and at that time of measurement we had about 197 us notes active uh, 243 in europe 62 in A asia and uh, 17 nodes in south america which constitutes about 519 total nodes and uh, each on each of these nodes uh, we request 100 random videos uh, taken from a trace and uh, for each 100 videos uh, we uh, for each video we collect the related videos offered by youtube at that point of time uh, for our analysis and the metrics used in our measurement are two uh, content change and uh, auto change uh, so the top figure shows the content change uh, where if you request uh, for video x the related video for related video uh, for video X contains A, B, C, D, E and uh, for node B it contains B, F, A, D, G. So the content change in shows that the amount of the content uh, change from the related list of requested by node A and uh, node B. So the content change for top A will be 2. Uh, whereas figure B shows the order change where the related list can be same for two uh, nodes but the order in which the related lists are offered is different. So the order change will be two for the figure uh, figure B, whereas the order change is four for figure A, and there is no content change in figure B. And uh, order change is important, as I mentioned, where we because we use the related list reordering approach to show that cache hit, hit rate can be increased uh, by reordering the related list. When but when we have order change, if we have order change in related list, then um, it shows it reduces the effectiveness of our uh, technique. And also. Uh, to show the effect, uh, effectiveness or to show our metrics in a proper way, we have binned uh, the rated list uh, into four. Uh, bin one is rated list one to five, two is six to 10, three 11 to 15, and four 16 to 20. And top off is, uh, is to be one to 10, and bottom off is 11 to 20. And uh, binning is important because it helps understand uh, where in the rated list, uh, rated list offered uh, uh, the changes are happening more. And also it's important to know now, uh, binning helps us understand uh, if the rated list is offered from a single small pool of rated videos, uh, or uh, if if the binning uh, or if if the rated list offered only uh, from a closely related set of videos for the top half and not so closely related set of rated videos for the bottom half. Uh, that uh, that involves uh, a loop count measurement, uh, which I will be talking again on in MMSS. So. Coming to the results, uh, these results show uh, an average of uh, 100 NC2 measurements, uh, where n is the total number of nodes used. And uh, so, if US region has 197 nodes, so the average, the measurement shown for figure A there uh, is 100 into 197 C2 me uh, measurements. So, the uh, x axis shows the rated video position bins, and the y axis shows the percentage of rated video differences uh, for the US region and this is for U EU region. Uh, so, due to space limits, I have used only two nodes, two regions. Uh, the results are extra extrapolates to the other two regions as well. And uh, the plots show uh, n to 0 to 5, where n is the related list differences. Uh, n equal to 0 means the related list differences are, related list offered are same on, on the two nodes. n equal to 5 mean, uh, means the related list difference in the bins are uh, different for the two nodes. So, with that, uh, I'll, I'll go through the results for the content change uh, on, on a regional basis. Uh, so, uh, for as seen from the figure A uh, for US region in, on the right hand side, uh, for a uh, for a low order bin uh, one to uh, bin one, the number of differences or uh, n equal to zero is is almost close to 35 percent. Uh, Whereas n equal to five is less than one percent. Uh, whereas the, the n equal to five, the number of rated differences uh, for in the bins increases uh, as the as you move from uh, lower order bin to the higher order bin, uh, as you can see from the results. Uh, and the, the results holds true for uh, any region uh, which we have seen, which we have used, uh, US, U Europe, uh, Asia, or South America. So that shows that uh, the ra uh, the rated list changes very uh, less on the top half of the rated uh, list offered by YouTube uh, and more to the bottom half of the rated list video. So this uh, shows, or the takeaway from this result is that uh, you it's it's uh, the trade-off is to cache. Uh, uh, if you if you if you if you think caching is effective, uh, and we have shown that, so to cache the top half of the rated list rather than the bottom half of the rated list, uh, which uh, tend to change more. Uh, compared to the uh, top off, so 
this uh, shows the order change results uh, where the and the, again uh, n equal to zero shows that the order is same for the two uh, for the bins in the two nodes. When equal to five, the order is different for uh, uh, for the bins in the two nodes. Uh, as you can see, it shows a different results uh, compared to the content change uh, for order change. The n equal to zero uh, reduced from 35 percent to uh, 27 or 30, I guess. And but the important result is n equal to five, uh, where the our order is completely different for two nodes or in the same bin increases from uh, less than 1% in uh, for bin 1 in content change to 20% uh, uh, in uh, for bin 1 in uh, uh, order change uh, and this order this uh, result uh, this increases uh, as, as you move from uh, lower bin to the higher bin uh, this actually uh, reduce, uh, reduce the effectiveness of re related list reordering approach uh, pretty he heavily as uh, the position uh, needs to be same for for to take uh, to take advantage of the cache uh, hit rate effectiveness uh, by reordering the related list based on what we have in the cache but the order change uh, results such as this due to related list uh, differences from uh, youtube uh, makes it very uh, reduce the effectiveness but still if if uh, we can see that uh, uh, using uh, or caching the top five of the pre uh, prefetch related list uh, uh, have uh, has still has as is a trade off uh, compared to caching or uh, prefetching the bottom of the related list. The same actual result hold good for EU region as well as you can see the n equal to five difference is uh, more in the EU region for bin one and uh, increases the same increases uh, as you move towards higher bin. And uh, you also seen uh, uh, looked into the client uh, client related list differences uh, where uh, 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 we have shown that in MMS 2011 client based prefetching and caching to be effective uh, where you have a cache on the client client end and uh, uh, we, have sh we have shown uh, client caching is effective as well as the edge caching uh, as shown before. Uh, so we have looked into the related list differences uh, for the re so same video request on the same client for multiple days uh, and the res result shows the average of those and we have looked into for five days so th this result is for average of five days uh, related list differences. The interesting point is that even if on the same node uh, if you request the same video continuously for five days the, the related list offered for you for same video is different. Uh, as you can see, the related list uh, difference is uh, less for the top uh, bottom, uh, top half uh, compared to the bottom half uh, for, the, for both the nodes. And another important in interesting point of this result is that the related list difference is same for each node uh, in each region offered. So that shows that uh, the related list offered, uh, related list offered by YouTube is based on uh, on a region wise compared to uh, or the, and the related list is not formed centrally because each region has its own uh, has the same related list difference uh, uh, as the other region and uh, uh, this again client based uh, client based caching and prefetching uh, is, effect is affected by this related list differences and uh, this shows that uh, uh, and again the trade off is that if you it's better to cache or prefetch the top of the related list uh, when 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 you employ uh, deploy uh, client based caching rather than the bottom half and so uh, this shows the order change uh, 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 results for the uh, client based uh, related list differences and uh, results are the same as the regional differences where the number of the uh, amount of order change increases for bin 1 compared to content change uh, in the bottom bin 1 uh, for us region or uh, eu region and it increases as you move towards the lower bin, lower bins uh, this again uh, affects the related list reordering approach uh, for each client but again the trade off is to cache or prefetch the top bottom half top half than the bottom half so to r show the impact or uh, to talk about the impact of caching and prefetching we have looked into a trace uh, collected on in Can university of connecticut campus uh, in feb of 2012 and the for a three day trace uh, the number total, total number of requests is 105k and the number of rated videos in that is about 48,000. That constitutes about 46% uh, of the rated of the trace request. That shows that people usually request from the rated list. Uh, uh, and also, the plot shows the total number of uh, the percentage of the selection uh, from the rated list uh, based on bins 
as you can see, the, from the top half, uh, 1 to 10, 80% of the requests come from the top half uh, and 20% from the bottom half. This uh, that makes us our point, uh, my point, more clear that uh, it's people usually request from the top half and than the bottom half. And uh, how does our result uh, affects on the rate, uh, our result on the regional differences and uh, daily differences uh, affect this uh, caching? So as, as as we saw in the results, 35% uh, of the content change related difference of at least two for top five related videos. Uh, that means 35% of the time, uh, three out of the five related videos are uh, are not useful for uh, uh, when the next user requests uh, a video from the uh, from your uh, caching or prefetching. So that. But 60% uh, of the requests are for the top five videos uh, in our trace. Uh, that that leads to a 24, 21% in increase in additional caching to maintain the same cache hit rate. So, but and uh, uh, if you want to maintain the same cache hit rate as you used to when there were no related video differences, if there are no related video differences, uh, this 35% content change result uh, for bin one increases to 65% for the bottom half. Uh, where 65% uh, of the time, uh, uh, three of the five uh, rated videos are uh, different. Uh. So, but the request of for this uh, bottom of the rated videos is just 20%. Uh, so, caching or, or uh, additional caching or effectiveness uh, due to this 20% uh, request is not uh, what you want when you ha when you are aiming for a cache hit rate. So. So again, the takeaway is uh, it's better to uh, cash or uh, cash additional 21% when you know you have a additional request, uh, a major uh, major amount of requests coming for those bins compared to lesser number of requests coming to the bottom half. The same results uh, uh, hold good for order change, uh, where 60% of the time, uh, at least three out of the five uh, rated list uh, rated videos uh, uh, different differ for the top five. Uh, this affects the rate list reordering technique, as I already told. Uh, uh, but uh, they're still caching or prefetching the 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 difference of uh, forty percent in the in the forty percent in, uh, in the top high of the rate list is better than uh, prefetching the ninety percent of the rate list for the bottom of the where the, there is a ninety percent difference in the order change. So and also. Uh, from MSC 2011 paper, we, I take the results of uh, the cache hit rate uh, due to client uh, client caching and prefetching, uh, where we show that 42% of uh, there is a 42% cache hit rate for the top 10 of the rated for clashing and prefetching top 10 of rated videos on the client client end, uh, and 48% when we cache 20 uh, top 20. Uh, from the rated differences, uh, there is we, we see that uh, there is 20%. Uh, Difference of at least three for the top ten and forty percent for the bottom half. Uh, so, uh, if you want to maintain the same cash hit rate of forty-two uh, percent, we need to add, we need to uh, cash or we need to uh, prefetch additional eight percent uh, content at the client to maintain the forty-two percent hit rate uh, because we have twenty percent difference in the rated videos. Uh, so, which is better than uh, uh, caching or uh, prefetching uh, additional. 40% uh, to just have an improvement of 6%. So to conclude, I would say uh, we performed this uh, performed the global study to understand the related list behavior of YouTube, and uh, we find that the related list changes from region to region, and also on the same client from time to time, or on a daily basis. And this related list differences reduces the effectiveness of caching and prefetching techniques, which we already shown to be effective. And as a trade-off, uh, we. Sh we sh we conclude, I conclude by saying that yeah, caching or prefetching the top half of the rated list uh, is more effective uh, than uh, more effective to maintain the same cache hit rate uh, uh, due to these rated list changes uh, offered by YouTube uh, or made by YouTube. So the future work uh, includes. Uh, we have not looked into how this rated list different uh, differs. Rated list offered by YouTube differs based on uh, popularity of videos, the view count. Uh, Etc. And also, we are not looked at uh, what parts of the rated list are transmitted uh, from to the client from from uh, YouTube cache. So, I mean, uh, that can be used. Uh, we can use the rated cache reordering approach to know which will which which uh, part of the rated list are offered to the cache. So that's a part of our future work. Thank you.
I have two questions. The first one, I, I really missed something. So I, I don't understand the setup. You had uh, more than 400, 500 Planet Lab nodes. You had random 100 videos. But who made the query? So what was the, the query pattern? Query? The oh, query. Okay. The, the, who, who made the query? So what, what did you generate them automatically? Or what, 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 what was the query? Or do you mean the 100 random video is the 100 random queries? Yes. Oh, OK. And, uh, but this on each node? That's on each node. OK. And the second question, you, you are now only considering uh, uh, client browser caching. So did you, did you think of uh, taking into uh, consideration if you have a proxy cache, and uh, you, then you have a number of clients uh, uh, who might sh share? There uh, were uh, two, caching, two proxy caches I've mentioned. One is the edge caching. Those are the first two results, original caches where you have multiple clients uh, uh, requesting the same proxy. And the other one was the client caching, where you, uh, the, the caching hit rate was only due to the client browser caching on your, your machine. OK, thanks. Uh, again, but the, the 100 random. So ha did you have now the same random query on, o on each node, nodes, or yeah. you had on each node 100 random queries? No, same 100 random videos queried on each node. OK, thank you. Other question? All right, well, I have um, a few questions. Um, um, in terms of the reordering algorithms or the content change, do you know what kind of algorithms does YouTube use mm. to do reordering? Or are you uh, looking into that? You also mentioned the future so world popularity. Uh, but uh, in order to simulate, I mean, uh, some of the queries or how does the reordering uh, works and how do they move basically from top half to the bottom half? What kind of algorithms did you have there? For the reordering? The reordering is a simulation uh, where uh, we just move the, move the uh, related videos which, are in the, which we know are already in the cache which in the re like original cache to the top of the rated list and then produce it to the next uh, the same client or next client uh, or to know if we if we could request the same content or same position so i think i mean it will be more clear if when i explain it in mmss okay uh. um the second question i had was um, um have you considered uh, some of the studies that actually have been done at the university of messages amharam Amherst uh, by one of the colleagues, uh, Sitaram, who currently looked at uh, these huge traces uh, from Akamai yes. in terms of users requesting various videos. Actually, there was a really interesting article, if anybody's interested in uh, Internet Measurement Conference, uh, this uh, 2012, yeah. right? Uh, so I was just wondering if that would be sort of an interesting set of um, uh, requests, right, for your video uh, and then related work, uh, related list. Uh, yeah, work. you mean the quasi experimental design That's for right, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I already talked to Mike though, about uh, doing the same thing for the... We talked talk to the author. Yeah, we talked to Sitaram also. Good, so. yeah, yeah, I see that sort of was very interesting. So uh, we're actually looking into, we had a, we had a long meeting with Sitaram uh, a while ago and we're actually looking into how we can combine these bo both works because there might be something about cross experiment design for this this because we, we really don't so far you know we have that data we have been looking at this data we see the changes but we don't we don't know what the motivation of youtube is behind these changes so maybe we can learn a little bit more by applying his techniques to that yeah any more questions all right well if there are no questions thank you very much sure. we have a break.